The president of the Lee County NAACP coming forward saying he is not surprised by what happened to NFL player Nate Allen, who was incorrectly identified in an indecent exposure case last week. He says the misidentification of black men happens all the time, and he believes racism is the underlying issue here. Four in your corners, Lisa Greenberg, rejoining us live from the Fort Myers Police Department with more on this story. Lisa? Well, Amy, NAACP President James Mulwakill tells me Nate Allen isn't alone here. He says there have been many instances where black men have been misidentified by women. Now, he tells me he believes law enforcement led the young girl to identifying Nate Allen as the man who was inappropriately touching himself while driving on the road next to her. He says black men are just as vulnerable today as they were back in the days of slavery. And in Nate Allen's case, he tells me the wheels of justice only turned so smoothly because because of his notoriety. His fame and fortune got him off the hook. But again, the average black person who don't have his fame and fortune, they would have been arrested, thrown in jail, arraigned with a trial date set. For their conviction. Now, Mulwak Hill also says Nate Allen and his attorney should be filing a civil suit. He says police chief Doug Baker is handling the situation correctly and is confident there will be consequences for those involved, but he still believes there should be a third party investigation here and he wants some answers. We're live in downtown Fort Myers. Lisa Greenberg, Fox 4, in your corner.